a few days ago i did a, a post on caring for the aged caring for your aged parents <clears throat> so let me just tell you what all can go wrong first of all it can happen very quickly and very urgently you just don't know parents are fine they are not telling you anything they they seem to be perfectly all right suddenly you find that your uh, father has had a paralytic attack you are only 48 years of age or 49 years of age <clears throat> your father was the active person he used to go around he used to buy the vegetables he used to buy the grocery he used to do everything around the house he used to drive he would go to the bank your mother knew nothing about all this right <clears throat> what happens you will have to take time off and go there and settle things and then maybe your mother moves in with you or she moves into a house next to you you would take a house on rent it completely uh, <clears throat> changes things in your life there is no doubt about that so first is that that second is you are personally perfectly incompetent to do something like this you have never done this in your life right <clears throat> so the complications of finding out how much of uh, uh, insurance is there how much further is required what are the financial implications will you be able to just shut down that house and move them especially if you're out station do you want them to move in with you or do you want them to move in with some uh, uh, senior citizen home do it, does it uh, mean that you should go into geriatric care because so much of care is required or accepting that your mother is not going to be able to cope up with it because she has never handled so much of pressure it was always your father who was doing it or vice versa it was always your mother who was doing this and suddenly your mother falls ill and your father is just not capable of looking after himself he knows how to do banking maybe he knows how to do uh, uh, <clears throat> some vegetable shopping little bit of it but otherwise the cooking running the house knowing who is the maid knowing who is the electrician carpenter whatever or what have you everything was being done by your mom and it's your mom who falls uh, ill right something like that happens she falls on breaks a leg or something bigger she's got cancer and she has to be treated will you, and you realize that the other spouse the father or mother is not capable of doing this so they have to move in with you or your father is uh, finding it very difficult to see right he is losing his eyesight for whatever reasons anything it it may sound very minor but when your father is losing his eyesight it is impossible for even your 70 year old mother which is not very old to be able to look after him so you might have to uh, they might have to move in with you or move into a neighboring house or moving in move into some geriatric care something like that has to be done right so first of all to do that finding out what will be covered by insurance what will not be covered finding out whether your company insurance will cover them uh, finding out the paperwork that has to be done how much of uh, how many shares do they have do they have a demat account do they have insurance do they have uh, mutual funds banking right so first of all your own ability to comprehend the situation saying oh my god at 48 when i have such a huge traveling job how do i do this so whether it is you or whether it is your spouse somebody has to take time off look when we have when we are born we have two parents if you are married you have four and uh, i'm convinced after seeing around that uh, some of all of us <coughs> will spend some time on one parent <clears throat> maybe they live long maybe they have illness maybe they are not capable of taking care of themselves for whatever reasons <coughs> sorry so the what all are first of all there is pain then there is sorrow then there is a why me question to be answered then there is uh, the lack of resources for whatever time money whatever uh, competence uh, no sibling support maybe you are the only child or your brother or sister is in the us right so after all this the fatigue of having done it so not able to realize where to draw the line how much to do uh, will you be able to do right all those are big questions your uh, siblings may not cooperate with you the amount of cooperation which you think you need right so all the burden falls on you maybe they stay near you so the burden falls on you and your sibling is in the us or in australia or in new zealand and all that you get from there is huge amount of advice no money no physical support nothing 
right and if you need the money well it's not coming that's it so how do you handle all this alone first of all you have to enlist the support of your spouse and children because without them or without all of you putting in the fatigue will be too high if money is not the problem i am repeating this if money is not the problem outsource everything it may sound inhuman but uh, it is better to outsource everything a nurse costs money a doctor costs money everything cost money a nursing cost just for your information uh, latest information got from a friend costs about 3000 a day if you use two nurses right and this is at the lower end this is not at the higher end if your parent requires 24 by 7 nursing for whatever reasons then that is 90000 per month right so do you have the financial resources if you have the financial resources please outsource or if you can get a nurse for three four hours a day <clears throat> maybe if it's a, a father maybe that person will come shave help him take a bath right so all those kind of things if you can outsource at least partially do it <clears throat> get good competent uh, doctors nurses whatever you need to and make sure all of them are them are in place because even after doing all this and outsourcing there will still be fatigue now <clears throat> if you think oh i'm going to handle the whole thing you're mistaken because you will get tired in a month or two right so uh, outsource as much as you can make sure that your parent is getting good attention make sure that you know that the uh, help that you have uh, acquired is not angry or is not a uh, very dissatisfied person who pushes and uh, pinches and uh, bray beats your parent these things happen and I'm, I'm saying this from personal experience of other friends etc I've heard many people tell me about these things right so understand all this understand uh, the um, understand the money management understand parental management understand uh, caregiver fatigue seek help for yourself maybe you go to a psychiatrist maybe you look for help because if you are doing this alone assuming for a minute that you are a single child and you are looking after a 80 year old father and a 70 year old mother and both need attention believe me your fatigue will set in very very fast so make sure that you are taken care of remember the uh, uh, remember your last plane ride when the arrows just uh, said uh, first ma wear the mask yourself only then you will be able to help others absolutely true if you are not capable of managing your own uh, your own health and mental stability it's very difficult for you to be able to help others make sure that you enlist the support of your siblings friends uh, family uh, spouse everybody everybody you need everybody's help and support and like i said outsource everything that you can outsource if money is not a constraint if money is a constraint be careful look at your own retirement money so be careful about how much you are spending assuming your parents don't have money <clears throat> sorry make sure that you have enough money for your own retirement and your own old age remember we are today helping our parents because we will also we are also sure that five years ten years twenty years from now we will be there and we were, we are going to require help and enlist that support maybe it's your son daughter but if they are not there make sure that you uh, put money and join some senior citizen club or you know, some senior citizen house where you can go and stay right do all this because parental care includes caring for yourself when you are that age and you have to make the arrangement yourself especially if you don't have children or you don't think you're, you have one daughter who is going to settle abroad perhaps and so may not be available for you it's not that they don't want to but they may not be available and what about uh, parent losing a child right so if you have one child or two children there's a decent possibility I very very cruel to say this but what happens if the child dies before you again you don't have somebody to take care of you so make sure that you take care of all these things and why you are taking care of all these things is simple you're going to require all those skills in your own case thank you